Ketley T. That can only mean one thing. It's London Marathon Week, folks. Let's start the coverage off talking about our number one favorite thing, shoes. Let's talk about what shoes are gonna be on the feet of these athletes coming up on Sunday, October 4th. Let's get into the coverage. I'm so pumped up for this week. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. If this is your first time here, my name is Brendan and I upload videos each and every week all about running, from running shoe reviews to London Marathon to running training tips, all things running. So if that's something you're into, hit that subscribe button right down below. Really do appreciate all the support. Maybe while you're down there, smash that like button. All right, let's get on to the coverage. So starting off with the companies that are represented in the male field, we have 16 of the 40 male contenders under tight grip by the tightened Nike. Nike has sponsored 16 of the 40 male athletes in this event, something that shouldn't really surprise us. We know that Nike wants to be the monopolizer of the running shoe game and they're doing a pretty good job of it. There are also seven unsponsored athletes, five of which also choose to wear Nike by their own volition. That's insane. Two of the seven unsponsored athletes choose to wear New Balance. So that brings New Balance total up to six athletes, I believe it is, of the in the male field wearing New Balance. So in the male field, the top two companies represented are Nike and New Balance. And I'm gonna, gonna just list off the rest of the companies. Adidas, Asics, Hoka, on Saucony and Under Armour are all gonna be represented as well. I'll put the numbers here with each of the number of athletes wearing those shoes for the males. So let's move on to the females and then we'll talk about what shoes they're actually gonna be wearing. So the females, the same story. There's 10 of the 24 female athletes wearing Nike. Two unsponsored athletes who are also choosing to wear Nike by their own volition. So 12 of the 24 are gonna be wearing Nike. That's insane, guys. They are really trying to monopolize the running shoe industry. Is there gonna be an uprising? Who knows, maybe, maybe one day. And for the second most represented company in the female field is Adidas. And then going down the list again, we have Asics, New Balance, On, and Saucony represented in the female field as well. So now we know what companies are being represented and by how much in each of the fields, but what shoes are they gonna be wearing? So for the Nike athletes, I 100% think that all the sponsored athletes are gonna to have to be wearing the Alpha Flies. I don't think that Nike would allow them to wear anything but, and the reason for that is, I think Nike wants the public to see that the all being fastest marathon racing shoe is the Alpha Fly. If you wanna go fast, you have to get the Alpha Fly. But I think the unsponsored athletes may opt for the next percent. So. This is something we're gonna have to be aware of watching the marathon coming up this weekend, October 4th. For the Adidas athlete, this is also an interesting thing because Adidas has two fully capable marathon racing shoes. They have the Audi Zero Pro, which is just like a racing flat type deal, and the Audi Zero Adios Pro, which is more of the higher stack height marathon racing shoe that we'd expect to see. So I think the athletes will have to pick between those two, but I think the Audi Zero Adios Pro is gonna be more represented. Again, we're gonna have to check back after Sunday to see if if this is right, I, I don't know, we'll see. Asics, Asics athletes are wearing the Meta Racer. We know that for sure. Hoka, I'm, I'd be surprised if it's not the Rocket X. New Balance, we know that as well. It's gonna be the Fuel Cell Elite RC. On, the On Cloud Boom. Saucony, the Endorphin Pro, absolutely. Under Armour, Under Armour. I can't believe Under Armour is in the game right now. But I believe that Under Armour is going to be wearing the Machinima, which is their carbon fiber plated shoe. Uh, uh, Under Armour Hover Machinima, I don't know, I'll leave the name right here. So overall representation, I'll leave the graph right here, but there's one company that is not represented. And I was so shocked to know that they're not represented, and that is Brooks. I was really, really looking forward to seeing the Hyperion Elite number two going up against the Endorphin Pro and the Next Percent and the Alpha Fly and the Meta Racer, but we're gonna have to wait who knows how long to see the Hyperion Elite number two go up against these shoes in an elite field. But with the way that Brooks is innovating, I'd be surprised that they're not on the Hyperion Elite number four, number five, number six. By that time, who knows? Brooks just, they gotta get, they gotta figure it out. But I, I do like the Hyperion Elite number two. And that leaves one last order of business for this video. I think that potentially one of these companies, Saucony, Nike, Asics, Adidas, could potentially unleash, unveil, a new marathon racing shoe on the feet of one of these elites. Who knows? 
I don't know if there's like some world athletics rules. I think there was that they had to be available for four months before a race, but I don't know. I don't know if that's true or not. We'll have to see. What do you think? Do you think one of these shoe companies will release a new shoe or what you see here is what you're gonna get. All right, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to tune in tomorrow for our top five male predictions. And later on in the week, we're gonna be talking about the top five females and potentially what underdogs could upset these favorites. All right, thank you all so much for watching. Can't wait to drink my Tetley tea and watch the London Marathon. Absolutely. Have a fantastic day. Catch you on the next one.